Hi, right, welcome back. This is Endog, and we are working on the map Southern Strait mission in the series of missions you get called Maintenance Adventures here on the new um, Japan, Japan Ocean map here in Fishing Planet. We've already completed Meow Tenants and Map Westward Bound. If you're looking for those, those videos have already been released. We're currently working on Southern Strait where we're, gonna, we're to go drop the anchor to the south of the island. The island is right in front of us, so we are headed that way now. And once we get there, we're going to catch the swift moving, the swift moving uh, striped Benito. Now this will be interesting. I have caught these fish while trolling. And what I've not done before is caught them while stationary. So we're gonna try some things and see if we can figure it out and then I'll let you know at least for me what ends up working the best hopefully if we can figure it out now in the last mission I actually had to leave and then come back with some new equipment once I realized like what it was asking us to do hopefully the equipment we have for that mission that last one we did which is like this here um, hopefully this will work. Now I had talked about using this squid jig. However, I don't think that's a good idea. That's probably not what we're going to try first. The, uh, preferred lures are pilkers and bucktails. So we'll probably try our smallest pilker and we can actually do the pilking technique along alongside the boat. And then we'll try bucktail. I don't know what, um, Let's see if it says, like, here's a small bucktail. Let's see if it says, it says live in the surface layer. So that makes me think probably like stop and go would be our best option there, unless we wanted to try to troll it. But I'm, I'm thinking it's going to have a stop and yeah, it says drop the anchor. So we're going to have to fish for them from the boat, which will be interesting. I like that the tutorial is making us do some of this. Um, from the boat fishing. So I, I guess what we'll do is we'll try the pilker first, a small pilker. I wanted to see, I, I've heard talk that they maybe haven't added the pilker technique fully into the game uh, like they intend to eventually. And I don't know if that means like it's not gonna work that well, or if they're more saying it just doesn't give you the message that you're doing the pilker technique. Like if you're playing RF4 and you're out in the ocean fishing, it tells you like, hey, you're, um, you're doing pilker, you know, it just kind of tells you what you're doing. I don't think that it yet does that here. It looks like where we're supposed to stop is like right at this spot here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All of a sudden I was like, wait, looks like it's right here. All right, let's anchor down. Let's actually, um, try a buck tail. No, let's try a pilker. Let's see, the pilkers are gonna be uh, right here. So we've got a mini pilker, it's 50 grams. That should be fine on this. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just give it a try. So we don't necessarily need to cast it far because we're actually going to just let it drop but not too far because it already said that these fish are in the surface area. So let's go down to about, let's try 40. And now we're just gonna do some pilker motions. As far as I know, this is how Oh, you know what? 40 is out of 241. That's, that's not like, yeah, let's go up to 20 actually. Oh, it says you can use pilkers. It even suggests pilkers. We are getting twitching right now, which that's kind of cool. We'll try at 15. Oh, fish on. 
All right, now is the question, do we have enough power in our gear? How small of a Benito do we need to catch for this to work? Okay, this worked. This worked, it's a trophy. This is, we, we figured it out, we just one-shot it. <laughs> this is great. This is actually great. Okay, so we got it up to what, 15? And then was, was doing the jigging motion. So let's go ahead and close it and uh, we'll sort of slowly make our way back up to 15 again. So that's one out of three bonitos. We might uh, make short work of this, let's see. Once it gets like directly below it, oh, we had something hit it and it dropped off. Once it gets directly below us, I feel like that's where maybe it'll start telling us that we're twitching, I don't know. be wrong I'm not seeing twitching at all anymore Let's hit R and let it drop back down. Let's try a little different approach here. I'm going to do straight retrieval, but twitch the whole way from 30 or maybe from 26. Let's do it from right here. We're just going to twitch it straight up. All right, now we're getting twitching. Can we keep the twitching going even though we're not retrieving anymore until we get a bite? Seems like we can. Once we get twitching going, the twitching continues even though we're no... Oh, it dropped off. I mean, I think we might be onto something. I could be wrong, but let's try again. We could also switch colors of the pilker. I mean, I think this is, we're not wrong. It's just trying to figure out the best way to do it. Let's just try stop and go. When all else fails, stop and go. We also could do the really slow stop and go. Uh, just for fun, let's try different pick, different uh, colored. Uh, lure here. Let's go down to slower speed. Well, I'm glad we caught that first one because frankly, if we were just sitting here trying, 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 it might, might um, I might have been just like questioning if we were anywhere close to the right thing, but at least now I tend to think we are. Oh, what if we did just do straight? Should we at least try this one time? Straight, slow? Oh my goodness. It just, the fish just hit it, but... You know what? 
I'm just going to do straight slow across the surface. Or just straight across the surface, actually. We get three stars. I bet we want to do slightly faster than this because look, it's sinking. We want it to be kind of up in the upper levels, right? Let's, let's try this all the way in and then we'll try at two speed straight and then we'll try stop and go from distance like this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I I just think we just need it to be up in this up in the area that, that these things live one way or another. All right, there's two. There's our second striped Benito. I love it. Let's try to get one more here. We're going to go two speed. I am still going to try the straight with two. Look at how good those sailboats look, by the way. We're going to start reeling immediately. We don't want it dropping any further than that. We want it to stay up towards the surface. Before we go back to one speed straight, which is what we happened to catch it on last time, though I don't think there's anything magical about that. Uh, what I want to do is try two speed stop and go. Maybe even three speed stop and go, but we'll see. This might just hit it. I know it's sinking a little bit, but hopefully it's still staying up close to the surface that we could still hit one of these. When it says surface region, I don't think it means like right at the top necessarily. Yep, there she is. I, th I think this will be one. I think we just completed it. I think that might be the fastest way to get it is that last one. All right, there's another one, $614 for this little fella. We will definitely keep uh, catch that. So there's another 4,400 experience, a Bitcoin, and thirty-two thousand dollars. We didn't have to travel away, so we're actually making money now. The next mission will be heading east. Chart a course to the eastern waters of the island, teeming with underwater inhabitants. Your primary task is to steer your vessel to a specifically marked area for calibration near the Cape. That offers a magnificent view of the Tori Nokoto Gate while maintaining your position. Use this time to catch a narrow bared mackerel. Narrow bared mackerel. Awesome. All right, let's go and see what narrow bared mackerel is all about so we at least have an idea of what we might do over here. All right, we have the common trophy and unique. Gets to about two, two and a half meters in length. So I think we can use this same setup. Preferred baits, a lot of live baits, but we also can use pilkers, bucktails, or plugs. What if we actually tried a plug, not trolling, but casting? I don't know, plugs might be trolling only baits, but we'll see. Um, okay, cool. So just to uh, wrap this up, we just completed map Southern Strait of the maintenance adventures. And what is next will be map heading east. I hope you'll come back and check that one out as well. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'll see you next time. Tight lines.